let's face it, having long, healthy hair is the goal of most women in our society. In most cases, long hair enhances your beauty and is a symbol of femininity. Apart from aesthetic reasons, hair serves many other functions. It protects us from heat loss, brain trauma, and exposure to excess sunlight. For many of us, when you first go natural, the first thing you want to determine is how long it would take for you to get to your length and health goals and what you need to do in order to achieve them. So you start researching online and get an idea of how to map out your plan. You quickly discover a world of information, some conflicting, and more than often end up settling for confusion. Well, believe it or not, human hair follows a specific growth and shedding pattern that's hard-coded into your individual DNA. Before I start, I think it's best to mention that for the sake of time and staying on topic, I'm going to give you a more simplified version of what's going on under the surface. Do you remember the Why Is Your Hair Nappy video where I explained your scalp is filled with tons of tiny holes and pores, which is where your hair strands grow out of? Well, if not, here's a link to the video. It's an insightful video with tons of interesting information, so you're sure to learn something from it. Now let's take a closer look at one of those pores. Deep within the dermal layer of your skin, right above your nerves and your blood vessels, is a little pear-shaped ball called the dermal papilla. It's responsible for transferring vitamins and nutrients from your bloodstream to your hair strand. It's like the umbilical cord of your hair. Hence why I'm always preaching about the huge benefit you get from eating raw, healthy foods. But I'll cover that in a future video. All right, wrapped around the dermal papilla is a structure called a hair matrix. This is where your hair pigment is produced and most importantly, this is where a massive cell division takes place that forms the major structure of your hair. In fact, the cell division and renewal process in this area is one of the fastest in the human body. So to tie it all together, when you eat food, the vitamins and nutrients get broken down into your bloodstream. The dermal papilla transfers those nutrients into the hair metrics and encourages cell division. This rapid cell division is what forms your hair strands, and the whole area is called a hair bulb. In this four-part series, I'm going to cover the different stages of hair growth, seasonal and hormonal connections, and factors that can increase or decrease your growth rate. My goal at the end of this four-part series is for you to have a more concrete and realistic understanding of the growth behavior of your hair. This newfound knowledge should help you avoid disappointment and have a more realistic vision of where your hair is going to be a year from now. Now that we've gone over the basics of how a hair strand is formed, it should be a lot easier for you to understand the next video where I'm going to go over the different stages of hair growth. See you next week for part two where I'm going to go over the different growth stages of hair and address a hair growth myth.